Snip! Style! Hello everyone, this is our snake style basic training session. First of all, in this training session, I'm going to show you how to hold snake hands properly. Second, we are going to practice some workout exercise to build up the strength for our hands. And third, we are going to practice some snake strikes combined together with our stances. All right, let's start. With the snake hands, there are so many ways to hold the snake hand. But there's a common way. Let's give a try together. The commonly, the snake hand is like this. Put our fingers together, bend our thumb. Remember, when you put your fingers together, between your fingers, there's no gaps. Fingers together, and bend your thumb. So this way, your snake hand is stronger because your fingers together make the snake hands become stronger and also faster when you make a stretch. See, faster. Now the other side is the same. Fingers together being your thumb. Okay, this is the, the common way to hold the snake hand. And of course, there's other ways as well, such as open your thumb like this. Okay, but in this training session, we do bend our thumb. All right, so once you already know how to hold the snake hand, the next one is to build up the strength for our hands. Otherwise, if your fingers are not strong enough, you make a strike, you will get hurt. <laughs> you will get hurt. We don't want that to happen, so let's build up the strength for our hands. I'm going to show you three basic workout exercise to build up the strength for our hands. The first one, let's give a try together, is push up ready action. Use your fingers to support you. Remember, you want to build up the strength for your fingers. You have to make sure your body is flat. Okay, you can see from this angle, body is flat. Not, don't do like this. Don't drop your hips too low. Make sure it stay flat. Use your fingers to support. All right, fingers to support. So at the first, if you cannot hold too long, you can try to hold here for 10 seconds first. After 10 seconds, if you think you're all right, you can add up, okay? hold up to one minute or even longer depends on you so this is the basic way okay not too difficult and this way will make your fingers become stronger after give it a relax with your fingers by opening up and close like this okay now next way is the same push up radiation it's similar, okay? From here, you use your hand to support like this. See? Make sure keep your body flat. So with this move, please be careful. You can try with the one first. Like this. If your fingers okay, feel alright, not too not too much for your fingers. You can add more, see? Depend on you, all right? So this is the second way. After, still make sure hold the face and open, relax your fingers, okay? Now, and the third one, the third one is push up, doing push ups with your fingers, okay? Now at the first, if you cannot do too many, you can try with one first, okay, to start with. If your fingers okay, can support you, you can do 10, 
or maybe one first, and then two, three, four, you can gradually add up. Don't just suddenly go for 10, okay? So remember, when you do push-ups with your fingers, body stay flat. Or don't just knock your head. One, two, three, not like this, okay? Going down, up. All right, so those are the three basic workout exercises to improve the strength for your fingers. So after, make sure you relax your fingers, okay? Now, remember, depends on you, how many you're gonna do. But remember, start with, like uh, when you do the push-ups, start with the one first, and you can gradually add up, all right? And next, we're gonna practice some sneak stretch combined together with our stances. You know, the challenge part with the snake style is to imitate snake. Snake is soft and also at the same time is powerful and fast. And here we don't add too much softness. It's gonna make a too challenge. Okay, too challenge. So just mainly more strength. A bit softness, mainly more strength and strength. Strength, okay? So we're gonna use two fundamental stances from Kung Fu and Wushu. Let's, give, let's go through with the stances first. The first stance we're gonna use is horse stance, Ma Abu. Let's give it a try. Ma Abu is like this. If you don't know how wide you're gonna open with your Ma Abu, which is horse stance, you can try from the beginning. Feet together, give it a go together. One, open like this, two, three, and a bit, body straight up, sit body straight up, bend your knees. This is horse stance, flat is the standard one. If you cannot crouch too low, make sure you can step it higher. Okay, this is a horse stance. And next, the next one is a bow stance, which is called gong bu like a bow and arrow, bow stance. Go through, let's go through with the stances first, and then we combine those two stances together with our snake stretch. Left leg up front, back leg rotate, body straight up, front leg is flat. This is a bow stance. Now the other side, the same, bow stance. Now remember, if you cannot hold like this low, you can stand it higher, okay? As long as you root it, that's good. What's not rooted? Not rooted like this. This is not rooted. See, rooted. It's like your roots into the ground, okay? Now, whole stance, change both stance, okay? And then combine together with our snake stretch. All right, let's give a go together. So let's have a look. The first snick stretch we're gonna practice is like this. I go through. Soft. Now this move is quite basic. From here, this means is someone Someone, if I use our self-defense, someone trying to punch me or push me, push at me, I can block with my snake hand, block and strike, okay? Block, strike. Quite a straightforward. If you don't want to use our self-defense, you can use this move to improve your coordination speed, okay? Now let's give it a go. Let's do it in slow motion, okay? Put our feet together, and snake hands ready, look at left. The next move is left leg open, straight down. Okay, palm face another way, and then you rise up, palm turn, 
pressing down, the palm facing down now, and here into horse stance. Here is a soft horse stance. After horse stance, you block like this. From horse stance, change to gong bo, bow stance. <laughs> Straight. Now let's try with this move. I face this way. It's like this. <coughs> Stay hands ready. Step hand. Stay turn my hand. Soft. Now this is the block. Someone trying to punch me or push me, I can block. Remember, when you do this block, you, can, you cannot just do it with your arm. That's quite a stiff. See, quite stiff. Not cold. Make sure at some softness, you use your waist to lead. See? Waist to turn lead. <coughs> Straight. Ha. Huh? All right. Now let's give a go. Let's do four times. So if you like, you can do more. But I don't want to be out of the, out of the range, out of the screen. So I will do four times. Stay hands ready. We pronounce s sound like a snake. S s okay, s sound. Okay. Soft. Blow. Slow motion. Stretch. Soft. Here the same. Blow. Stretch. Blow. Stretch. Blow. Stretch. Finish. Okay. Now one more time. A bit faster. So this is the first strike. And next one is similar to this one. Everything the same, start the same. Only here, when you make a strike, put this hand under your elbow. The reason you put it under your elbow, if you use our self defense, this hand can bring, can bring back us block. Okay, as block. Okay. Now let's give it a try. Block. Slowly strike. Okay. Block. Strike. Blow, stretch. Blow, stretch. Oh, but I'm not out of the range. Now let's add a bit power. Actually, those three snake strikes are similar. Okay, just different ways to strike. The first one is like this. The second one, and the third one, like this. More like a snake. You see, snake does strike like this, right? Bring their head back. Now let's give it a go. Slowly, relax. Everything the same, you block. Here, when you make a strike, be aware, a bit different. You strike forward to this arm here. Strike and back, 
put your elbow above the hand, on the hand. Blow, strike, back, on the hand. Okay? Like this. Like a snake. Strike. Back. Now go forward. Block. See? Now together, like this. And bring back. Now face to this way. Let's give a try face to this way. Relax. A block. Like this. Blow. Strike. Strike, bring back. Okay? Now let's add a bit power, okay, with this the last strike together. You relax. Blow, strike. Blow, strike. Once you're done with strike, bring your hands back. Forward. All right, quite a, quite a basic, basic stretch. So those are the fundamental training for the snake style. Remember, Practice makes better and perfect. If you have any questions, please leave your comment down below. Happy training, happy life. We'll see you next time.